Hey there. So if you're like me and you would like to know how to watch FCPO charts on your mobile but have no idea on how to do so using the WAN4 app, well, this video is for you. Ready? All right. Why don't you fire up your WAN4 app right now and let's get started. Okay, this is the screen that you will see on your phone and um, what you want to do is that you want to tap the folder icon right over here. So that brings up the list of exchanges that are supported by the WAN4 app for the purpose of accessing the various contract marks of the FCPO. You want to tap the BMD text right over here. Alright, so here are the list of the contract months of the FCPO and you know, for example, if you want to select the January month, all you have to do is just tap right over here. Once you've done that, this is what you'll be seeing, basically a line chart. If you want to change to candlestick, all you have to do is tap the candle icon right over here and this will bring up the chart in candlestick format. If you want to change the time frame, simply tap on the clock icon right over here and this will bring up the selections of the time frames available that you can choose. In this case, it's on one hour. Okay, moving on, if you want to change the indicators, you go back to the uh, line chart mode and tap on the icon over here. Now, for some reason in Wenhua, if you were to change this to candlestick, it wouldn't work. So, just bear that in mind, right? So, once you've tapped on this icon here, this page will appear and you want to tap on the gear icon right at the top. Okay, so at this stage, you want to tap on the icon here and now you have all the indicators that are available on the app. The ones that are in orange, it means that they are active right now. So if you don't want, if you want to disable them, just type on the orange highlighted indicators that are being shown here and they will be disabled. To change values, again, you tap on this icon and tap on the gear icon again and followed by this guy and you get this. So these are the list of the indicators over here. In this case, the highlighted indicator is the moving average and here you can change the period according to what you want. And once you've made your choice, once you've made your changes, you want to tap here to save your changes.